Hi friends, today I'm training on a new kata, a gift well spent. In this kata you are given a number and an array and what you have to do is you have to find uh, indexes in the array uh, representing the sum of like which, which items in the array represent uh, the sum of the number. Okay. So let me give you an example. Uh, by the way, this is this kata has to do with gifts, so it, it has a nice story. So I'm going to use the story. Uh, so the story goes that you have a coupon in your local store or, or a gift card in your local store, and you want to what well, you want to buy two gifts, and basically you want to make sure that uh, the sum of the prices of the gifts are exactly equal to your uh, gift card sum, right? So the first number, this X right here, is your gift card sum and this array right here is the list of uh, available gifts, right? So let me give you a few examples. First of all, uh, your gift card value is 2 and you have two gifts, both of them cost 1. Uh, what you have to return is you have to return an array of 0 and 1 indicating that you are selecting the first, like 0 index and the first index, right? Uh, second example, what happens if your gift card is has a value of 3? That means that you should return null since, look, you, there is no way you are spending everything since you have like just two gifts available, 1 and 1. There is no way to make them exactly equal to 3. Uh, finally, your gift card is worth 5 and what you have is 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if what you can return, you can return 1 and 2 uh, because 2 plus uh, 3 is equal to 5, right? Finally, what happens if there are multiple solutions, you should return the first, uh, like, the never, whichever are first, uh, since look, uh, what happens if you have five as your gift card value and one, two, three, four, five as your available gift list? You should return zero and three, since zero and three is one and four uh, equal to five. Also, one and two add up to five, but uh, the indices those indices are less, like the zero is first, first index is zero, so you should return this one, right? Basically, uh, they say that you should return minimum lexographically. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, luckily there is an example for that. Example is like, examples are excellent thing, like my favorite thing. So let's start that. Uh, they have tests, but the tests are really, they put a lot of work into them. And you can see they're using describe and that's that's all good. That's how I would write my tests. Maybe I would use chai for assertions, but in this case, I, I don't care too much about that. So um, I had a few ideas how to solve this kata. Uh, I am sticking with this one. First of all, let's try to find, let's iterate through all the numbers right there. Well, maybe, maybe exactly, not, not through all, but uh, we can exclude the last one. And just try to find any other, uh, any other element in the array which goes after this element, most importantly, first of all, Select select let, let's let's take an example. So let's start with five. So five is my initial number, right? And I'm searching through the rest of the array through two through five to try to find an a number which together with five would make this n. So th which would make five. And I can find that obviously since there is no numbers, none of them add up. Uh, to 5 to, to make 5, all of them are more than 5, so uh, 5 doesn't work. Then I iterate to 2, I search through all of the array 
if some of them make uh, like add up to, to this 5. So I find immediately find 3 and luckily they together make a 5 so I return actually an array of 2 and 3. Uh, not only, uh, to be honest, I'm not returning an array of 2 and 3, I'm returning immediately indices of those two numbers, so 1 and 2, so my final solution. And uh, then after that, what I'm doing, I have to take care of all the all the cases, like there. I start with 5 and the second number is minus 1, so basically I have to filter out all the items returned by this first map uh, which has a second element of minus one. Finally what happens if it's empty, if I'm filtering out everything? So in this case what I'm doing I'm just returning null. Uh, let's try it, let's try to write that down, okay? So first of all start with function y and this function receives two elements n and l n for number, l for list then I'm returning l and I'm going to map over it, right? as I said, I'm going to map over it I am taking all the three arguments n, i, v for value, i for index, a for array and I'm returning not a uh, not not a value I'm returning an array so this array first of all first first thing which it gets is I since I is the index I want to get the index right I want to get not 5 but I want to get index of 5 so I I put I in here second thing okay this this is harder how do I find among all these numbers how do you search for a number which adds up to this n together with this 5. Uh, there are two ways to do that. One way would be to use find index and add a specific rule to do that. The other way would be to use index of. And you might be wondering how would I use index of? And I'm doing it like that. Index of n minus v, right? Index of n minus v. So I, uh, I'm, I am dyna dynamically creating this, uh, this number which I want to find, since v plus this number has to be equal to n. So that's how I do that. Secondly, I want to make sure that this number is starts via starting our search, not immediately, but via starting at i plus 1. Okay? And I get... Let, let's see what I got. Let's try to run it. So first of all, if there are no numbers, empty list, I got just an empty list. If it's second one is minus 1, what I get is just an array with, with minus 1, with 0 and minus 1. What happens if I got a working example? Look, what I get is, first of all, I get the, the correct solution, like it this is the correct solution, second item is this one, I, I want to get rid of that. What happens if I should return null, and yeah, minus one, minus one. So, obviously I have to filter out the minus ones. So, secondly, I do filter, uh, this time I just need value, and I have to make sure that v, not the first v, but the second with an index of 1, is not equal to minus 1. That's it. That's all there is. Let's try to run it again. Okay, so I'm filtering out everything. So basically, I'm so close. Uh, should I just select first item? Let's try that. Maybe just selecting the first item would work. And it does in eight cases out of out of many, but I got one error and also I got three failed cases. So worst of all, then I I am returning instead of null, I'm returning undefined. 
that means I'm trying to get uh, to get an empty uh, out of an empty list I try to get uh, this zeroth element and that's undefined but even worse is than property zero of I try to get property zero of undefined sometimes that means L is undefined so I have to accommodate to all of these cases luckily there's easy way to do that just using reduce and reduce uh, you basically always have to use at least two of the parameters so I'm naming them R for result and V for value if the R is not defined I'm returning V and this makes sure that I get that I I either get uh, at least one of uh, at least one of one at least one of them has to be defined right so basically let me write that uh, I'm starting with null so R initially is null if it's null right it's falsy I'm returning V V might be uh, some basically has to be some value if these if uh, I'm filtering out every single like that case V must be the first good value so if R is defined that means I overwritten V and we have two correct solutions just one is like before the other I'm not overriding R because R is true V value so I'm returning R okay that's that might be difficult like this is so so short but uh, lots of implications right here so try to understand that if I'm starting with null and uh, then I have V so I'm overriding the R with this V if I already overridden R with V that means I'm not overriding it a second time let's try to run examples let's see if that works and looks like it does looks like this this works at least for these tests let's try to run the official test suit great looks like all the tests are passing and uh, that's how we solve this kata so I hope that you liked this kata and see you in the next video bye friends